Hello YouTube, Largoflark here from Concraft. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make my counter um, frame motor timer deal. Which is kind of a timer, but you don't have to worry about timing. You just have to tell how many times you want it to tick. So I'm going to make a day here and I'll show you. Press the button. You want to move five blocks. And it moves it five blocks. The only drawback to it is that you can't put it at the maximum speed. So you don't really want to use it to go big long distance. It's going to take kind of a long time. So, in order to make this, you're going to need some two different colored insulated wire, red alloy wire, bundled cable, pulse formers, toggle latches, timers, and a counter. So first things first, put your counter down. Then you put red alloy wire on either side. And we'll make it go to five just because that's a good number. And then one block away from this red alloy wire, you're gonna want to put that. So the timer here, which we'll put on one second, doesn't have any. It won't adjust this. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh, that's not a toggle latch. Where is that? There we go. Okay. So now what you're gonna want to do is take your pulse formers. Put one on each side of the um of the counter. <laughs> Having kind of a brain fart there. And you're gonna wanna take when you're standing and looking at it, you're gonna wanna take the one the pulse formula from the right and run this red alloy wire to here. And then you're gonna run opposite on the other side. It looks kind of like a windmill type deal, I don't know. And then you can dig a hole here. Oh and I forgot to mention you're gonna need buttons. Well I think we're done with that. So dig your hole at the corner, release your button. Do the same thing on the other side. Another thing about these is if you see it has a little minus and a little plus. When it starts, it's all the way out on the minus. So you need to power it from the plus side first. So if I were you, I would start making an elevator, put the plus at the bottom floor, and then put the minus and that's for up and then so on and so forth. Keep alternating. So I can hit this one, two, three, four, five later. It turns it off. And then one, two, three, four, five. I forgot to speed that one up. But what? Shoot. And then you're going to take your whatever blocks you want. Probably whatever building material you're using. And put one red alloy, alloy wire on the bottom and one colored wire on each side. And the block up from it also. Put your bundle cable in the middle. Block here, here, and here. Run your bundle cable down into your engines. I'm not going to show you how to make the frame motors in this video because it's kind of complicated and it's an entirely different deal. And so now you can just notice that it's on the minus. So hit the plus side. Two, three, four, five, 
And one thing that I've noticed is if you're counting, it'll seem like six because the first one it still makes a sound, but it doesn't make a redstone signal. So it won't really do anything. So I'll probably make another video later on how to do the frame motors and probably on how to make an elevator too. So thanks for watching. Bye.